And we're back. Since uh, we last left off, my umbilical cord has been tingling. Uh, we've, uh, just to recap a little bit, I think it should be in key items, right? We found this umbilical cord, or maybe not. Is it in consumables? I guess you're supposed to eat it, right? <laughs> Um, and it's only one third out of three, and we want to see if we can maybe unlock the two other ones too. So, and here's the, the thing, there is actually somewhat of a, a hint for where to go here. I did actually ask one of my viewers here to give me a little bit of a hint, because I don't want to have to spend my whole life here uh, running around Yarnum to you know look around uh and hopefully find the milk cord but there is a hint to the fact that you can probably get one from Yosefka I don't know exactly how it works but just before we meet that lady in the bridal gown oh crap yeah and we're having really bad frame rate right now on the stream i'm sorry you guys uh at times should i continue <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry the only other thing i can think of is to restart my pc again because that helped last time god damn it it's up to you basically because i do have my uh my local recording just feel awful about having a stream like this because if people come up to me and click on it and, and, and they see this they're probably not going to be uh, enticed to stick around you think it's fine well then we keep going so yeah uh there's Josefka. we did find um a chest with Josefka's blood vial in uh like right next to that uh lady looking up uh, just before the wet nurse fight and uh that's probably enough of a hint to think there's something going on also i didn't really realize it until now but when we talked to her like this god i'm nauseous have you found this Progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. I'm. Oh, God, it feels awful. But it proves that I'm chosen. Don't you see how they rise? Rise inside my head. It's rather. At first, I didn't really, I didn't really think too much of this dialogue. But uh, knowing not what we know now, she's pregnant. That's what she's describing, and maybe that was a whole plan. She wanted to get pregnant with a an old one, a great one fetus or something. So, I'm sorry to say, we have to get rid of it. Yeah, and there's another umbilical cord. Let me see if it has a different description. Probably doesn't, but... No, there's a... I mean, there's a different... Oh, yeah. I think we read this one first. Yeah, and then this one says... Provost Willem thought, sought the cord in order to... Blah, sort the cord in order to elevate his being and thoughts to those of a great one by lining his brain with eyes... The only choice he knew, if man were to ever match their greatness. He's lining his brain with eyes. Meaning he he gets brain uh, eyes within his brain. And, you know, that's a, that's a theme we've seen plenty of times now. With the eyes on the, on the pigs. And they're really obsessed with eyes in this game. 
So yeah. And this was the imposter, uh, Yosefka. Apparently, I think one of the ones, uh, maybe, where's the exit here? The one r close to the uh, exit of the of the clinic is the real one. And uh, this one is, I don't know how she got, uh, you know, the way she, she, she looked to, to fool people. The thinking she's Yosefka, but yeah, this is the real one, and that's why we also got a Yosefka blood vial from this enemy when we killed it. Okay, so that's one down uh, from the wet nurse fight, one down from Yosefka, only one remains. And this one, I don't know if I would ever have found, but there's another one actually that I, I think I missed. Apparently, I heard there were four. So yeah, now we gotta go to, uh, oh yeah, everything's on fire still. We go to Cathedral Ward. Uh, actually, I think, Tom, you mentioned that when I first went there, that there's another door on the way down when you drop down the giant... Um, I don't even know what that is. There's some sort of pit with lots of scaffolding. Yeah, okay. Apparently I missed it, which is fine. It's good that they give you a fail safe. So the third one, hopefully I can figure out. All I know is that we have to find this door. Elevators down. And this will unlock our uh, true ending. Grandpa's still at it again with his firearms. Really? If you kill your Skafka before the Blood Moon, she... Like, you can permanently lose the true ending. That's a little... I mean, I don't know how easy it is to do that. It seems like it's mostly down to luck whether you happen to go there or not. Um, but yeah, where would that door be? Oh, th there it is. It's actually not that hard to find. Question is, have I already... I might have already screwed myself by going down here. Although, uh, yeah, no, I think we have to go back up. It's a little annoying. I'll try anyway. Maybe we can jump all the way over there. Let me get rid of these, all these barrels here. So I jump. I don't think I can make this. <laughs> I'll try, but... Uh, yeah, I should have gone this way and then dropped down like that. I guess it's a little harder to miss, but still... Ah, crap. I don't like it in... Um, in... Uh... Yeah, that's not it. On principle, I don't like that you can miss it permanently without if you don't know what's going on. Okay, so let's use a um, bolt hunter mark. <clears throat> now that we know where to go, I think that's the only way, or the fastest way. Uh, so what's your guys' guess? How long do you think to for, for for me to kill German which I assume I mean if he's not the final boss don't tell me but uh, I it very much seems from the way the doll said it German's waiting for me how long do you think uh, would it take me to kill German is he one of the harder bosses or the hardest it's hard for me to tell 
Five to seven. <clears throat> we'll see if we can, uh, we can make that a reality. Don't want to disappoint you guys even further. <laughs> okay, so. Door would be... Wait a second. It's actually really hard to see from here. Yeah, there's the door. So... We drop down this way, or wait a second. They make the door easy to see from when you've already missed it, <laughs> or easier. Now I'm getting confused. Yeah. Maybe actually it's easier to drop down here. Because I, I can't really be sure that I'm going to over, not overshoot my target here. So let's hope for the best. Ugh! Fuck. <laughs> that, was, that was very close. Okay. Nice. It's a new area. Abandoned old workshop. Uh what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. I guess it's a little <laughs> I mean this is a really cool moment. But having it played Dark Souls 3 first. Oh, there's an actual chest here. The doll set. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh yeah, I did get some insight too. Um, the fact, first of all, that this is an actual place in the world is really cool. It's not necessarily very surprising because if it is indeed um, a, a dream, it makes sense for me to remember something that I've already seen, Old Hunter Bell. But uh, the fact that they did the same trick basically in Dark Souls 3, there it is. I mean, it's, it's fine. Like, it doesn't take away from it at all but it's less of a oh my god what the fuck moment <laughs> it's still awesome though the doll i've been growing more and more suspicious of the doll by the way uh i looked up is that yeah there is an item in there small hair ornament uh i looked up the winter lanterns on the wiki just because i hate those enemies <laughs> They're called winter lanterns, by the way. Uh, those grotesque brain uh, things that are walking around in the, in the nightmare levels. I looked them up, and funnily enough, uh, turns out their design is basically a doll, except... Uh, Instead of a head, I mean, of course, it's bloodied and, and grotesque and stuff. But uh, instead of the normal doll head, they have these... It looks like a brain, but it's actually... It's sort of like a mass of messengers. The little messengers, right? The, the one... The, those uh, things that supposedly are our friends. Um... And eyes, of course, because everything needs eyes in this world. <laughs> Interesting. Abandoned old workshop. Well, let's go back and inspect the items we got. But yeah, that makes me a little uneasy 
when it comes to the doll. Also, did you ever realize she's ridiculously tall? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see here. Um, we did get another badge. And I've skipped past it again, apparently. It's not here. Yeah, we, we also get a small hair ornament. Where's that badge? Well, whatever. The ornament. Not here. Was this a key item? Yes. Small, very ordinary hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its color would stand out most brilliantly against a head of grayish hair. Huh. Interesting. We also got the doll set. Getting some insight into the doll. Discarded doll's hat, likely a spare for dress up. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care with which it was kept. If borderlines with mania, it borderlines on mania and exudes a slight warmth. A little creepy. So we're supposed to give this to her? Hunter bone? It's a magic item. Ah, okay. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Go on, good hunter. But first, aha! Uh -huh. What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> You're telling me? Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? Hmm. <sighs> Tearstone. Uh, I've decided not to do a DLC just yet. I want to get through the Bloodborne vanilla. And I don't want to waste too much more time before I play Sekiro. Which I might do if I'm... If I'm okay against the boss, or bosses, which ever it might be. Um, it might be today, but I don't want to waste too much time. And then later on, there we go, that's the old hunter bone. Uh, and then later on, I might do like a separate series on the DLC. Uh, maybe on stream, maybe not. Yeah. I'll do the other character. I'll, I'll play as my female strength build uh, when I play the DLC. Also, Kanehurst. Kanehurst is optional, and I, I didn't even go there until I realized, hey, that's something I could do, but apparently it's not necessary. Anyway, Old Hunter Bone, the bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he, ha he was an apprentice to Old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening. A technique particular to the first hunters. It is more. It is most appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch, who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art from this from his remains. Weird. Tearstone, silver shining tearstone, used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. It fortifies any weapon. That's cool. It could double as a blood rock then. A doll sheds neither blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. I could just use it? Let's use it. Tear blood gem. And then we still need to read the umbilical cord. And apparently after that we need to eat all of them. Um, wait. Those are different. Uh, I think this is the last one we had. Every great run, <clears throat> every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precip precipitates the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Well, let's uh, chow down, sh shan't we? 
Yes. It gives me insight too. It's rather um, unsettling, but what must be done must be done. Uh, I'll use the rest for blood vials because what else should I be concerning myself with? I guess. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. This game might be a little bit depraved. I don't know. You uh, be the judge. Okay, and then we actually figure out what's the deal with German. I might have missed a lot of lore concerning him because... To me, it came out of nowhere that he might be the final boss or even an enemy to begin with. Got crucifixes everywhere. Didn't think the Hunter's Dream would expand for so far, but here we are. German, where are you? Got a score to settle or something? I don't even see him anywhere. What's up? <laughs> Meanwhile, the workshop is on fire. Oh, there he is. Oh, you old geezer, what are you up to? Maybe he's not the boss. Good hunter. Maybe he is. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die. Forget the dream and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. <laughs> um, how about now? <laughs> Dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. Hmm. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help thinking about this uh, as being uh, a Smash Brothers reveal trailer. Damn, enjoys the hunt. You must okay. accept your death. That didn't take long. Be freed from the night. 